Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are reportedly lined up to replace Prince William and Prince Harry at Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. Prince William and Duchess of Cambridge normally attend the week-long event. The couple are expecting their third child in April, when meeting takes place. Prince Charles and the Queen will attend the summit, as royals hope to help trade talks with non-Brexit countries ahead of the UK leaving the EU. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle could be set to fill the shoes of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, CHGM. The week-long event, normally attended by William and Kate, takes place in April. It coincides with the time that the Duchess of Cambridge is due to give birth to her third child. The engagement is regarded as a crucial one, with around 52 heads of state flying in for the what is expected to be the largest summit in the event's history. Scroll down for video with Brexit edging ever closer, it's thought that the presence of the royals will help ease the UK into talks with non-Brexit countries. Meghan, 36, now has a string of royal engagements under her belt and this could prove the last major event before the couple wed on the 19th May in Windsor. The couple are already expected to attend the Commonwealth Day service on March 12. The grand event, which includes formal dinners galore, is also a chance for the former suit star to fully immerse herself in the Commonwealth, which remains a key talking point for the British monarchy. The CHGM was originally scheduled to take place in the South Pacific Ocean island of Vanuatu but Cyclone Pam saw it relocated to UK shores. Already in attendance are the Queen and Prince Charles, who will host several events during the week. The Prime Minister has already expressed how vital the conference could be for the UK's relations with the rest of the world. Theresa May said, as we look to create a truly global Britain, the deep partnerships that we share through a 21st century Commonwealth can help us strengthen the prosperity and security of our own citizens, and those of our many friends and allies across the world. Mail Online has contacted Kensington Palace for comment.